Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24-7. I have a little card project share here for you. I've uh, been dinging around in the craft room uh, last night and a little bit today and whatnot, and um, made a few cards here. Uh, I was primarily playing around with backgrounds and this lilac waterfall. Oh, it's um, Shimmer Powder from Nuvo. I also had some Ken Oliver uh, color bursts um, that I was giving a whirl as well along with the Nouveau Shimmer Powders and stuff, and then testing out some new uh, My Favorite Things uh, MTF ink. I'm looking for a better pink. I still don't have a nice pink that will go with everything. I'm still looking, still looking. Anyways, been messing around with some backgrounds and primarily playing with the shimmer powders and um, ended up making a few cards with the backgrounds I made. But um, first I made this super fun slimline card here. This is a rounded corner slimline card die. I used the base, cut it out of powdered sugar. Um, used this um, fun flora slimline uh, panel uh, card, slimline card base, uh, intricate die. Um, this, this didn't actually come with it. It went to another one I have. And, um, but you could use the layering one out of the rounded corner slimline card die set. And, um, so I cut this one out of, um, black licorice with adhesive on the back of it. And I used this super fun Hero Arts, uh, stamp pad that came in the March monthly kit and did a rainbowed background. I am loving that. That is so fun. Look how awesome those colors just blend they blended really well almost seamlessly mine on my ink pad this blue it doesn't um i think the purple's a tad bit higher and so the blue doesn't actually contact the paper unless you really press down on it and so i had to go back and fill that in and i think that's why there it's not as a seamless much of a seamless transition there, but everything else just melds together like so nicely. I think it's still really cool though. So, uh, the thanks and the so much is out of the Hero Arts um, Big Hug Stamp and Cut set. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> Wrong one. Whoops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, Happy Thanks Stamp and Cut set. That sounds better. So, thanks out of powdered sugar. Uh, went over it with some aqua, Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Glitter Gloss. Uh, the So Much there, stamped it out Memento Black Ink. Um, hand trimmed it out and then drew, just hand drew uh, with a Sharpie fine liner pen. Um, a couple of black squares and then filled it in with a Stardust Jelly Roll pen. And then uh, punched out a few flowers with a Stampin' Up! little small flower punch. Uh, added a few gems. Used the fun little hemp cord that comes in the um, My Monthly Hero kit. Wrapped it around a few times. Uh, popped the whole thing up on dimensionals to give it a little bit more interest. And uh, I think this just came out super fun. And uh, who doesn't love a rainbow? This is so cool. So then I was ended up, um, I ended up with a big, with a Sizzix order. And in it I got... Um, this really cool azalea 3d embossing folder and i was gonna do some water or some shimmer powder backgrounds with it and it ended up when i was in looking through my scraps to see what i had these two this tonic studios pearlescent blue paper was sitting next to the stamps of life midnight or navy blue paper and they look so pretty so I wanted to see what the pearlescent cardstock looked like embossed. And how beautiful is that? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my heavens, that is just lovely. And then mounted on a powdered sugar card base. It's A2 in size. Cut out another little navy panel. I used a Versamark clear embossing ink. Stamped out best wishes from a Hampton Art um, stamp set that was from years ago. White embossed it. Uh, heat embossed it. And then um, I I really, I used my anti-static powder tool and really dusted over the top of it so it would make it come out really crisp. And then punched out a few of these fun little butterflies 
a few of these Stampin' Up! flowers and then a few of the Stampin' Up! Uh, foliage punch. Um, the foliage is in what uh, vellum. Then the little flowers are in powdered sugar. The butterflies are in powdered sugar and vellum. And I puffed up their wings a little bit. And I wanted just to give them a little bit more depth. Added some little gems to the center of the butterflies. And then these little fun little flower jewel embellishments are out of a embellishment pack from the Stamps of Life. And um, they come in an embellishment packs where I got them. And just thought this came out really cool. So the navy mat is four by five and a quarter. The tonic studios with the embossing folder is three and three quarters by five. And then this one here is three and a half by two and a half is the um, one in the center. And uh, I think this just came out really lovely. It's so pretty, so fun. So there we go there. And then I was messing around with these, that Nouveau Shimmer Powder and trying to get these backgrounds to work out. I made these cards and I wasn't too thrilled with them because it didn't have the butterflies on them. And it was just like they were missing something. Well, the little butterfly punch happened to be sitting here. And I thought, I wonder what, what it would look like with butterflies on it. And bam, perfect touch. So A2 size card, powder sugar card base. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch black mat with a four by five and a quarter watercolor panel with Nouveau Shimmer Powder on it in Lilac Waterfall and Black Licorice uh, Sentiment uh, Stamps of Life, the Funky Bold Birthday, this one here, just the intricate die um, with adhesive on the back. Uh, some Studio Katia little iridescent bubble um, embellishments. And uh, some little... This this is a... Like if you... If, I don't know if it'll show on camera. The butterflies are white on the bottom and black on the top. And it was like this matte... It's not a gloss, but it's shinier than regular cardstock. It has a different type of finish. And it is really fun. And that's what the little butterflies are cut out of. Super fun. Came in a kit. I'm not sure which one though. And I uh, just added a few of those and glued them on there. And isn't that cool? How fun is that, right? And then uh, same thing with this one. Now, these guys here. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, jury's still out on them. Jury's still out. I was messing around with some modeling paste. To try to add some depth with texture and stuff. And uh, this one has black TCW modeling paste on it. Through the five petal flower stencil from Stamps of Life. And this one has white modeling paste. It's what the little flowers are. Same stencil. And uh, with this modeling paste here. Um, big Hugs is out of the Hero Arts. That's the Big Hugs one. <laughs> Sentiment set. A uh, Big Hug stamp and cut set from Hero Arts. And a little ribbon from Stamps of Life in my stash. Um, both of them are powdered sugar card base. Um, A2 in size. Uh, black mat is four by five and a quarter. The um, modeling paste background mat is, or the card front that is three and three quarters by five. And um, this one has the same lilac waterfall as the other two cards. And see how different that looks? And what it is is how much powder you put on versus how much water and the different looks that you get and how much shine and whatnot. And I was, I'm still learning. Obviously, you can tell with this one because there is a lot of shimmer, but... Yeah, it's just different. It's just different. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this. Um, but I put big hugs. And then, uh, to my favorite person right there. I stamped it out in memento black ink. Hand trimmed it out. Matted it with some black on the back. And stuck it up on dimensionals. And, um, yeah. I don't know about that one, though. Yeah. Oh, so the yellow one is Solar Flare. Um, Nouveau Shimmer Powder. Is what the yellow one is. And so, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Which one's your favorite? And if these if these make the cut or they don't. What does the jury say? 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So then, in all of that, I was also playing around with some more embossing folders and some um, micro distress micro glaze. And. Uh, Distress Micro Glaze and Shimmer Powders. This is Distress Micro Glaze. And it almost reminds you of petroleum jelly. Is actually the consistency of it. It's white. It doesn't have that off yellow color. But the consistency reminds you of it. There's no smell or anything. Um, it. I just think that's what this probably is. Anyhow, um, I was running it over the top of the embossing folders and doing my um, doing a Ken Oliver color burst on this one. This is a shimmer powder, and see, it resisted on the top and just went down into the cracks because I just rubbed it over the top of this one. Um, and this is a like 3D Tim Holtz 3D crackle um, embossing folder, and that's kind of fun. I really like that. Um, this one is like a leaves one, 3D embossing folder, and I did it over the top of the leaves, and you can see where it resisted on some of it, but I had a ton of water on these and didn't realize, but I think they'll still make fun cards, um, especially if I use the toucan one from the Stamps of Life, it's a really nice size little bird, little toucan, and it has the little hibiscus flowers and stuff, I think I can make something really fun with that. Um, these are the... A zelia one and that's where I got these um, but these are blended with ink not um, the not the shimmer powders these are the lilac waterfall shimmer powders and how fun is that right those are pretty cool I think they'll make neat cards and um, yeah and then this one is this Tim Holtz one here there's no names on them so and I put them in an embossing storage holder. So yeah, sorry, I don't have the names of them. And then this is a Ken Oliver color burst. And, um, I really like, I really like how it is. And I had some, I had some distress micro glaze on there, but I think because of the amount of water I had, it did not like it. So, and this is all watercolor cardstock is what all this is. Watercolor mixed media paper, actually, um, cardstock. And uh, so anyhow, so I was just playing around with those. Let me know what you think of those. And oh, here, I'll show you what I got. Um, so here, really fast, okay? What, how much time? What, what time is it? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't say. Oh, 12 minutes, ooh, let's hurry. Okay, so this is the Azalea's 3D embossing folder, see? This is, I got this, Peony Pop-Up Die. How pretty is that? Thank you, Kathy from Kathy's creative crafts and more she's the reason i have a sizzix haul and because uh, she did one and i was like "Ooh, pretty stuff floral layers how beautiful is that and so this is the stuff i got after i watched her video <laughs> we help each other <laughs> corsage is what this one's called and uh, helper enable i'm not sure but still <laughs> uh, this one is springtime borders how fun is that one gonna be like how cool this one's neat and I got this one, uh, let's see, this one's called House Heart Flower and Star Stitchlets. This is like a embroidery type one. It does all the little holes and then you use thread and make the design. So I think that'll be a hoot. Uh, let's see, this one is a bouquet. It's a background dye. Won't that be beautiful? And like if we put this over some of these, well, not the embossed ones, but like you know, if we made some fun little shimmer powder backgrounds, like if we cut that out, like that would be really pretty. Okay, so next is this Tim Holtz one, which is organic. It's a bunch of foliage. And then oh, this one, this is going to be fun. I can't wait to do a video on this. Shrink plastic. I've been seeing everybody use this stuff. And so I thought, hey, let's give it a whirl. So what you do is you stamp and then cut out and then you use your heat embossing tool and you shrink it and it turns it into like these little plastic ch charms. So whatever the size that you start out with, it shrinks at 40%. So like it's going to be super fun to give that a whirl. And it looks it looks like it's 
Like, look at that. Isn't that neat? They made little charms and hung them off of a necklace. Like, you can make earrings. You can make um, little uh, zipper pulls. You could make little keychains. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you could do. Like, things for craft bears and stuff. That would be a hoot. But anyhow, so that's my little haul too. That's my little project share. Let me know what you guys think of the cards in the comments down below. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And happy Friday, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.